Hey everyone, today's video is an overview and review on Rollin' One. Rollin' One is a game all about golf. Now this was sent to me by the publisher, so a big thank you to them for allowing me to review it for you guys. So like I was saying, this game is all about golf. You're designing the courses and then you get to play in them. Video. Why can't I get that? <sighs> no. I'm gonna redo that. But before we start, my name is Chrissy and this is my channel Two Sheep One Wheat. If there is a board game out there that you would love for me to review, let me know what that is down in the comments below. Go ahead and like this video and then of course if you have not already subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and do that now. So let's just go ahead and take a look at the table and see what we got going on. So this is basically a setup for a first hole. Now before we get to this point, we have a little bit of a setup to do. We have these six dice right here. These are all different clubs. We have caddy cards. These are basically just cards that are going to give you some kind of benefit throughout the game. Each player starts the game with three caddy cards. Every player is going to be randomly given a golfer card. Now you can do this a few different ways if you wanted to be given two and choose which one or if you just wanted to go ahead and pick whichever card you want, then you can do that as well. So you have that and then on the back of each card is going to be a player aid for you about which terrain there is and everything that you need to know about your dice. Now to figure out who is going to be the first player, you're going to be taking the putter. You're gonna roll and Whoever has the highest number on the putter is going to be the first player. Now the first player is the one that gets to design the first golf course. Now every player is going to be designing one hole. If you're playing a two player variant, then both people are going to be designing two different holes. So to design a course, you're going to need the starting tile right here, and then you're going to need the green, which is this one. You have all of these different tiles here to maneuver around, figure out which style you want, and then you can go ahead and stick the green on any tile that you would like to complete the golf course. Everyone is going to start on the T spot right here. You're going to pick which die you would like to use. Let's go ahead and just use this four iron. You would roll it and whatever number is there, you are only moving one location. Now, at the beginning of your turn is when you get to decide which direction your ball is going to go. I will go ahead and go this one for a five, and then if you roll again, and you get a triangle. Triangles mean that you can go ahead and move one space. Now, the only stipulation to this is if it, you are in a wooded area like this, triangles fail and you would end your turn. But since we are not, we are in a rough spot, then that is an okay move, and then we can keep rolling. Now there are these arrows right here, and that means that you just turn 60 degrees, and then you can continue moving that way. Now if you were to roll, and you would get a four, which is lower than the five that we originally got in the first turn, you would no longer move again, your ball would come down and land. So this whole time that you're rolling the die, your ball is essentially in the air, and then once you get that lower number that you rolled than any of the previous numbers, your ball comes down and lands. Now say your ball is coming down and landing on top of another player, that player then gets pushed in the direction that you were in the air, which way you were going, and they get pushed into that spot. Now there are some fun things going on here on the different terrains. Now if you start your turn and you are on one of these locations right here, the sand, your first roll doesn't move. That is the effect for the sand. And if you're landing on the fairway here, you actually get pushed to the spot next to it. Now, if you are landing in a water, you take a penalty. So these are the penalty tokens, and these are going to be adding up to your score. So just like in golf, you're looking for the lowest number, and any of these penalties will add to that number. Now, at any time during your turn, you can play one of these caddy cards. They're all different. One, this one lets you remove a die for one round. This one allows you to change the direction of a shot in progress, which otherwise you would not be allowed to do. And this one says, used the rolled number as a distance to move instead of just moving one spot at a time. So those can be used at any time during your turn. At the beginning of each hole, all players are given an extra caddy card. So at the beginning of the turn, you're given three. Each hole thereafter, you get an extra one. 
Now every golf card also comes with some type of benefit. This one here, you can count a tie roll as a success. So instead of coming down and landing, you can still stay in the air. All of these other ones all have different benefits on them as well. This one, once per hole, you can ignore a penalty. Once per hole, you can change a club mid-turn. Numbers don't reset. So those all have their own benefits on them. Another thing that would end your turn is if you rolled any of these numbers here on this die. There's a couple of dies that have the dots on them. So that means that you would just simply move three and then end your turn. So if a player lands on the green, that is an indicator that the game has ended. Unless there are players after you that haven't gone, every player gets the same amount of turns. So if they haven't had their turn yet, they would play their turn as normal until the last player of that round has gone. Now that will end the game. Your ball does come off once you've made it to the hole to allow other player to play their turn. Now let's say this is a four player game and only one player has made it to the green. Now, how to score at the end of a round is you would take however many penalties you have, plus take a penalty for each player that's closest to the green, including the player who has made it to the green. So this player would have, let's say this goes with this one, this player would end up with one point. The white player would end up with one as well because one player is closest to the green. Purple here would get plus two, and yellow would get plus three. So that would be the end of a round. The next player in line would be able to design their hole, and then you start the game all over again. All of the different dice that are in this game all have different abilities. Now, if you're closer to the hole, obviously you're going to be wanting to use the putter. This only has four sides, so it is a very low number and a better chance at getting onto the green. But if you are just starting, you'd probably want to roll a wood, which has many triangles and numbers one to 10, which will allow you to go further distance. Now there's other ones that start to get to be applied throughout the middle dice here, which is the turning around, because obviously if you look, you can only go in a straight line and using one of these turn 60 spot right here, would allow you to move whichever way that you would want to go and hopefully towards the ball or towards the green. Then you have these ones with ha which has many dots and these ones, like I said earlier, are a little bit different. Instead of trying to go up in numbers when you're rolling them to make sure that you stay in the air for longer, these ones are simply just moving spaces. So this one goes up all the way to four and but also has lower numbers. This one only has one to three. So all of these dice have different outcomes and they're used for different times during the game and could be used for different terrains that you're on. So that is a little bit about Roll in One. This is a very quick and easy game. Nick and I really enjoy playing this one. It's just something easy that we can get in during the day if we wanted to, or if it's something that, you know, we're just looking for something a little bit easier, but still a lot of fun to play at night after the kids have gone to bed. This is definitely a game that we're drawn to and that we have played quite often. And it's honestly just something that we like to take off the shelf and just get to the table. Because it is so easy and it's really fun, I really enjoy the fact that that I can build my own hole and sometimes I get a little carried away trying to make it really difficult if Nick is winning or if he's not very far behind me and I don't really want him to win but then I end up messing my own game up because I make it a little bit too difficult and it makes it really hard to get to the green. So I really enjoy this game. Uh, I think really building the golf course or the hole is the best part of this whole game. Also with the added benefits from the caddy cards and your golfer cards, if you can pair some of those up, you can do a lot of damage in this game. And how you're scoring up the points with this one is just like with a golfer card, which I thought is really cool. You can make it, it looks exactly like you're going golfing and you tally it up and of course you're collecting your scores. Same as with golf, you wanna have the lowest number. And then they added some of the penalties in here too. So if you veer off of the golf course, then you actually get a penalty like that too. So if you're landing on one of those fairways and it pushes you off, then you collect some of those penalty tokens. And honestly, these can really add up throughout the game if you're just having really bad rolls, which because you're rolling dice, the game is 
basically all about luck. Some of the caddy cards try to really uh, go around that. Like some of the caddy cards that you can do is use the same die that they're the same number on the die that you last rolled. Sometimes you can, let's take a look at them, uh, remove a die for the round. You can change the direction of a shot in progress. You can re-roll or sometimes whenever you just keep rolling, you're on the green, you don't really want to, you can stop the ball. Um, and then this one here, the gambler. So reveal immediately, bet who will win this hole. And if you're correct, then you get to subtract one point from your score. Uh, that one comes up a lot and it's really nice that that one you have to reveal immediately whenever you collect it in your hand. So it's really nice and uh, I've never been right. <laughs> this one here allows you to add or subtract three from your rolled number. So a lot of these caddy cards will allow you to manipulate the die that you rolled, which is really nice. And of course the golfer effects here on your golfer cards. There's a lot of them here that uh, are really beneficial that you can really get to use during your game. This one here, once per hole, you can swap a caddy card with any in the discard pile, which is pretty good because obviously if you're playing a caddy card, it's because it's really good and it's beneficial. So if you can go ahead and do that, and that's once per hole, then like in a two player game, you get to do four holes. So if you're playing three, then it's only three holes. So really beneficial that you can use these. And most of them are, um, per roll, uh, per hole. Most of them are per hole. This one here, Cal, when rolling a curve, you must turn, but you can turn any direction, which is nice because sometimes if you're going in this direction, you don't really necessarily want to veer off of the track here. And this one here, if a ball passes overhead, can tag along one space behind for the rest of the drive. Once per hole. See, most of them are once per hole, but then you end up with some pretty good ones. Um, if a ball lands on your space, move it to any adjacent space. I wouldn't mess with gusts. Not at all. So this game, so speaking about the, um, the scorecards here too, the game comes with a little mini pencil, which definitely just makes you feel like you're playing golf, which I thought was pretty cool. It was neat. It was just a nice little touch to add with this game. And then the... Tiles here, I just wanted to touch on the tiles here too. You get a whole bunch of them um, and they are double-sided too. So you could really design any type of course that you really wanted to. You could just add some of these, all of these little ones here have the green on them, but you can flip them over and they have different terrains on them as well. And this is how you know that this is the T, the starting tile. That one is not double-sided, it pretty much can go anywhere you can design any type of course with this um a, a lot of fun but be easy on yourself <laughs> you might want to punish somebody else but uh, you're definitely going to need to go a little bit easy as well unless you just have amazing rolls but in that case go ahead and make it as difficult as you can <laughs> And then with this game too, there's a bunch of different ways to, that you're able to modify the game. So you can play this game solo. You can also play uh, different ways with your golfer cards. Like I was saying, you can pick two or choose one between two. You can just go ahead and select whichever one that you want. Um, you can also do the ricochet, which if you land in a space with another ball, you can move your ball or the other ball to any adjacent space um, and follow that space's rule. Then there is a handicap point, which each player is given six points. So it's kind of basically the opposite. Then there are two different variants. There is a campaign mode and a bumper golf way that you can play. So the campaign mode is basically design one large arrangement of boards with three greens. The first player to each of the greens win. And then the bumper golf one is you get to arrange five boards and place three greens. Players get a penalty whenever hit by another player. In addition to normal rules, if a player lands on a green, their penalties drop by one and they move the green at least six spaces away. So there's a bunch of different ways that you're able to play this game, which kind of um, helps with any type of game. You really want to add variety in there for any game that you're playing to make you come back and keep wanting to play. So, and I think that Randy did a great job with this game. So I just wanted to thank him again for sending me this game to review for you guys. I hope you enjoyed this review and I will catch you next time. <gasps> what are you doing here? Oh, we're going to play a game. Oh, I was just reviewing it. Yeah. I guess we can play it. Oh my goodness sakes, you guess you can play it. You said be ready to warp in. Warp in. Don't. Shh.
I was sitting out in the room waiting to push my watch. Push your watch? And then <laughs> we just got here. Here we are. Hmm. All right. They already know what we're playing. What are we playing? They already know. I know what we're playing. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm playing as Juana. Juana. And I'm playing as Sandra. Sandra, my power is I can count a tie roll as a success. And for Sandra, once per hole, ignore a penalty, which I get a lot of, so that worked out really well. <laughs> okay, All right. so I'm first. Yes, you are. Oh, actually, I have to do something first. You have to do something first. Yeah, so reveal immediately. Bet who will win this hole. If correct, subtract one from score. Um, I'm going to bet you. <laughs> you bet that I'm going to win, eh? Yes. Wow, I'm going to okay. bet that you win. All right. I think that's... I'm enjoying that. <laughs> okay. Oh, I'm going to take... Ooh, I'm going to take oh. yeah, the yeah. iron, the four iron. This is kind of a turny, t twisty, turny course here that it's I It's a made. twisty Tuesday. So I'm going to roll. We're pointing... We're, we're actually Thursday. We're going to roll... Does that oh, still count? Of course. <laughs> Into the woods. So I move. A seven. Oh. oh. Good job. So seven was your last one. Yeah. That's one thing you gotta remember. Five. Five. All right. Wah, wah, wah. And I'm stuck in a sand trap. Yeah. So next turn, your first roll, you don't move. All right. Okay. All righty. Where's she going to go? I know. I don't want to bump you. I don't want you to bump me. I know. Um, bump me out of the sand trap. <laughs> okay, I'm going to go there. I'm going to roll the, what is this, nine iron? Yep, that's what I'm going to roll. Three. One, two, three, and I land, don't I? You land. So I push you. No, no, no. Oh. It's only if your ball lands. You're still in the air. You're flying. No. Oh, no, you land. No, I land. I bump you. Yeah, you bump me. You're welcome. That's Thank exactly you. what I didn't want to happen. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. <laughs> All right, your turn. All right, well, <laughs> just going to turn around here and go that direction. Wow, you're so welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Where's the third player to push me? <laughs> I think I'm going to go with the nine iron. Yeah, it's a good or the one. the six. Six iron. It's, yeah, it's not a bad one either. It's not a bad one. I think I'm going to go with the six iron. Yep. Five. Five. You don't yeah. want to take the dice tray back over to your side? Nah. Turn. Ooh. <laughs> Come on. Uh, uh, penalty. Penalty. Out of bounds. That sucks. Okay, my turn. Your turn. Okay, I'm going to go this way, and I'm going to roll this one again. Two. Oh, that doesn't do anything. Sand does not affect dotted rolls. So perfect. So sand does not affect dotted rolls. One, two. Perfect. Your turn. My turn. <laughs> there we yeah, go. We're going to go. Do -do. That way. All right, so you're going that way. I'm going that way. And you're going to go off of course. I'm going to go off of course. And you're going to get another penalty. No. I'm okay. Gonna, I'm going to roll the nine iron. Okay, do it. Three. Three. Oh, that's good. It's perfect. That is. So if you land there, you get to slide one space. Ooh. <laughs> We're off bounds. <laughs> you're welcome. All right, I'm going to go that way. And I'm going to take a look here. I want, there is a four on the nine, hey? The nine iron? There is. I'm going to take my chances and I'm going to try for a four. <gasps> Ooh. Ooh. One, two, three, four. Look at that. There you go. The hole ends. What? Okay. okay. So you ended up with how many? Zero. One. Because uh, you were wrong. Uh, it doesn't say. If correct, subtract one, one from, from your score. score. So. Correct, but I was wrong. It yeah. doesn't say if I'm wrong. You're right. So zero and I get three. I mean, I'll take a minus one, I guess. Oh. <laughs> okay. 
Okay. So now it is my turn. So now Chrissy gets to build the course. Yep. We each get a caddy card. Whoop, whoop. And now Chrissy gets to build the course. So we'll be right back with a course build. <laughs> Let's do that one. That one? Yep. And then I go first. Okay, we're back. We were already back. Well, no, if I back. start talking, we're already back. We're back now. <laughs> anyway, so I'm first. I'm going to go that way. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to take out my wood. Oof. I know. Let's see. Triangle. Whoop. Triangle again. Oh, the table's crooked. Triangle again, but triangles don't work on there. So I'm done. You're done. I'm done. Where are you going to go? Where are you going to go? What are you going to do? I'm going to go that way. Okay. Let's do it. Triangle. What are you? How come you went ooh when I said I was using the wood? Triangle. Come on, land on me. <laughs> Triangle. <laughs> oh, thanks for the, uh, the favor. You're welcome. <laughs> All right. So, perfect. I'm going to turn that way. I'm going to use this one again. Ain't no trees in the way. That's like perfect. I know. Triangle. Triangle. I'm going to get triangle all the way off of the board. Triangle. <laughs> triangle. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Triangle. There we go. A three. three. Oh my gosh. Give me a one. A triangle. Oh no. She's going right out of the field. She hit it way too hard. Oh, I... Way too hard. Come on, triangle. Oh, are you kidding me? <laughs> okay, well, I don't actually collect this penalty because that's my... Uh... Once per hole, ignore a penalty. Yep. Yeah. That was rough. That was rough. Whew. You do the same thing. You're going up. I'm going to take my... Four iron. Yeah, for those turnies. Woo! <laughs> that Five. was cool. Three. Perfect. Um, I'm going to oh, yeah, play a card about these. to add three from the roll. Yeah. So that makes it a six. Perfect. Oh, I guess yeah. save. So I move up. And then I end one, and then I slide four. All right. All right. Turn around, eh? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to turn around. I'm um, getting my butt handed to me here. We're filming this after Imperial Steam, so it's only fair. <laughs> <laughs> if you haven't watched that video, I will link that up here for you because that was terrible. <laughs> A two. Oh, that's not bad. Hi. Okay. Your turn. My turn. Mm-hmm. I'm going to go with the six iron. Oh, you I'm going to use this one card. One. Good job. Oh, yeah. That's beautiful. Perfect. Can I play Actually, you know what? Don't you dare. I'm going to re-roll. Oh, okay. Because I have a re-roll card. Okay. This is the one I have, right? No, I have the one with the twisted tape. No. Yes. Yeah, you had the four iron. With the four iron. Yes. Turn. Mm -hmm. One. <laughs> You're going around me. I'm going to play stop the ball. All right. Oh, no. Why? And I slide. And then you take a penalty. <laughs> That's funny. Okay. I'm going to go that way. I'm going to take this one. Into the sand trap. I know. And then I'm going to play this card. 
skip turns to whoever is. Oh, we're not further away from the hole anymore. Ah. Yeah. Oh. All right. I wish it was a tree there and you rolled a triangle. Yeah, I know. <laughs> I don't think you want to turn, huh? I don't want to turn, no. <laughs> what to do? Let me take the wedge. All right. Turn whatever way. I'm just having a terrible <laughs> go at this game. All right. I'm going to turn around. I wish I had a stop. Which one? Oh, I want to try this one again. I really just want the one. Just one dot. Yes! I got it. Yes! So I get another penalty. Yep. Right, now you're first player. I am losing terribly. You know what? It's only fair. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back. What? You're, you're only going to hurt yourself too. You know that, right? We're so salty. Why? What are you talking about? I'm salty. I can't believe this is what you're like. This is like the hook that whenever you're bad on stage and they <laughs> take you up. <laughs> All right, your turn. Ooh, a four. four. Wow. <laughs> no, you just stay there. Stay there yeah. All right, I'm going to go that way too. I'm going to take this one too. I'm going to use the wood. Triangle. Seven? Oops. One. Seven, Seven yeah. buddy. Yeah. That's true. That's true. True story. Four. He slides over because you're on the green. Okay. Or a fair way. Okay. Do I want to? Oh, I could add three to that. Oh, but it would make it a seven, wouldn't it? Mm. Ugh. Okay. I'll let you play. Okay. I'm also going to go with the wood again. Four. Where are these numbers? <laughs> Four. <laughs> I count ties as success. You slide though. I still in the air. I count fours as success. Oh. That was a good time to use it. Use it. It's all the time. Not once for all. Hmm. That's it though. And then you slide. Oh, you got a card. I'm gonna use my reroll. You're playing all your cards, hey? Yeah. Slide. Yep. Perfect. All right. I am going to reuse the wood as well. Eight. Right off the bat, huh? Right off the bat. Triangle. Two. And I slide, slide, so I bump you. you bump, me, yeah. bump, bump. All right. I'm sure you're going to use this one too. You're just going to go the opposite way. I haven't used a single caddy card yet. No? Uh, yes, no, I can. used one, yeah. But only because I had to. I'm going to play this card to change the direction of a shot in progress. Ooh. One. <laughs> Triangle. Stop. Right off the board. Two. Stop. Eight. Eight. Stop. Six. Six. All right, and I slide. I slide. <laughs> that was so close. All right. I'm going to turn that way. And I'm going to keep using this one too. Good old trusty wood. Triangle. Triangle. Eight. Not that bad, eh? It's not that bad, no. Okay, I don't think you're gonna be using the wood, hey? No, I'm definitely not gonna be using the wood. <laughs> you want your putter? <laughs> oh, 
I want the wedge. All right. Turn. Whoa. Pretty good. And then <laughs> turn again. Okay. Come on now. One. <laughs> Two. Oh. One by slide. slide. Well, and I count one to success. So. Mm -hmm. I'll take a penalty. It's fine. <laughs> okay. Was this the turny one? Yeah, eh? Uh, should I try this one? All right. Two. And then you slide. All right. It's coming down to it, eh? It's coming down to it. It's not good news, guys. She might take this one home. She's got a pretty substantial lead. And the wind is good. We're gonna go with the putter. Three. That's pretty good. One. Yes. You got it? I got it. And does that mean I don't get to go again? It means you don't get to go again. So you get a penalty. I don't get a penalty this hole. You get a penalty because you're behind. Yeah, but I once per hole. I don't know. <laughs> So it's not a penalty token. It's just plus the number of players that are closer to the green. Oh, so I get one. You get one. Okay, so just one penalty. One, one. One, one, eh? Why don't you get zero? Oh, because he... <laughs> I'm still in the lead. And you know what? I was going to get it next turn, too. All right. Dang it. Last hole. We'll be right back. This is what I have done. All right, we're back. And I'm first player. <laughs> <laughs> We're back. <laughs> We're back. We've been back the whole time. <laughs> hole number four. All right. Chrissy designed it. Yep. I was going to make a star, but it didn't look as good on the table as it did in my head. <laughs> okay. I'm going to pick. I want to go. Oh, yeah. Let's do it. Let's grab the wood. Triangle. Five. Triangle. Triangle. Come on, six. Six. Oh my gosh. Come on, seven. Two. Did you give us a caddy? I didn't get a caddy card either. Oh, no, sorry. Thank you. Perfect. All right. I'm going to play this card and I'm going to remove a die for one round and I'm going to remove this one. I wouldn't want that one anyways. I wanted the four iron. Sure. I hope it turns you right off of the table. Oh, because you... That's my first shot, yeah. so... You're right. Six. Triangle. Seven. Seven. Six. Six. Thanks. You're welcome. All right. Who am I? Yellow? All right. I'm going to go with the nine iron. Ooh, one? It's not exactly what I wanted. Do I have anything? You have a lot of cards. I know. So it's very possible. No, all I have are crappy cards. <laughs> Uh, you know what? Okay, skip turns to whoever's farthest from the hole. Yeah. So then I get to go again. You get so to now go the again. ball comes back sure, in. Sure, yeah. Cool. Goes there. All right. We're going to try it again. Let's do it. But with what? You know what? I'm going to rotate. Rotate. I'm going to pivot. Pivoting. Mm hmm. Let's pivot. We're going to pivot. Where are we pivoting to? We're going to pivot. Okay, I'm going to use the wood. Ooh, oh. I'm going to use the nine iron. <laughs> really? Conservative. One. Perfect. Three. Nice. Not bad. Not bad. All right. We are going to use the four. Okay. Two. Not bad. One. <laughs> bad. <laughs> 
<laughs> All right. My turn. I'm going to go that way. I'm doing so bad. I've never done this bad in this game. I like this game. It's Kay. quick and simple. I know. Geez. I'm going to use a putter. A four. No, nope. you don't. You have to successfully roll twice. Oh, crud nuggets. I shouldn't have taken those ones. Three. So does that mean nothing? It means nothing. Can I add three to that? I guess, yeah, technically. Okay, so then it goes there? Yeah. But no matter what I roll. Yes. Okay. Be our turn. My turn, eh? Feeling pretty good, guys. Triangle. Uh, if you're starting in there, that oh, does not count. Five. Four. <laughs> My turn? Triangles don't count in the thing? There's one roll? No, you're in the starting. You started there. And your first roll doesn't move. Yeah, but I rolled a five after that. Yeah. So then I should have been able to move. Right? But you rolled a higher one the first time. You rolled a seven, the, or you rolled a five, yeah, and then you rolled a four. The first time I rolled, I rolled a triangle. Okay. So I didn't get to move. Okay. Then I rolled a five. Yeah. So I should have moved. Oh, okay. Right? Yeah. And then I rolled a four. Yes. And then I don't move. Yes. Okay. You're right. All right. Now I'm going to use the putter. A four. That's pretty good. Well, what do you, you can't roll anything higher than a four. Yeah. Okay, you're right. So I get to keep my cards. One. I just, I've been hanging on to it since the get-go when I wanted to use it. <sighs> Man, you know what? I want Sandra all the time because I think she's my good luck charm. Because I only got one penalty. I only had to use her once. And I yeah. always get penalties. I always get penalties like how many you've got in this game. This is, this is a pretty bad roll. Uh, is... So if anybody's curious... I ended up with a one, and Nick ended up with eight. Yeah. So and uh, if you know golf. Lower's better. Yep. Yep. I almost needed a handicap. Mm-hmm. But good game. Yes, good, good game. Thank golf. You. Thank you. I got a hundred bucks on this game. It's, it's always good being out in the greens. <laughs> and it's such a beautiful day out, too. Beautiful day. Minus 37 with the wind chill. Perfect. Three feet of snow. It's <laughs> fine. We're fine. We're, we're all fine up we're here fine. in Canada at the end of December. Mm -hmm. We're fine. <laughs> okay, so what is your uh, your Nick's review on this game? Nick's review? I, I yeah. like it. Yeah. I Everybody's like it. just heard my review, so now it's your turn. No, I like it. It's quick and easy. You get to play around. You, you make the holes as difficult as you want. Mm -hmm. So, you know, yeah, it could punish your other player, but it's also punishing you. So That is totally true, isn't right? it? Right. Yeah, that's what I thought your second hole. <laughs> well, yeah, it's a quick and easy, you know, you can make the course. You can do as many courses as you want. You know, it says in a in a two-player game, everyone to make two two courses. And if you play any higher than two, everyone just makes a course. Mm -hmm. And the game ends. So, but you can really just keep going as long as you want. Um, it's simple. It's nice little dice rolling. It is. Yeah. Strategy to be conservative or to try to go for it and risk it. And I think I proved it. Yeah. yeah. How to play. <laughs> but uh, I like it. It's fun. It's fun. It's quick, simple, small. Yeah, it's in a light. nice, it just is in a nice box. Yeah. You want to grab it again? Portable and light. Is it an upside down box? No. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's a nice the special size. edition one. <laughs> oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, I didn't even notice. Ah, oh, too funny. Too funny. Well, anyways, there you go. You got an overview, review, and playthrough with Nick. So I hope you enjoyed it, and we will catch you next video. Bye.